Welcome to The Carpet and the Drapes. I'm your host, Sarah Blodgett. Today we take a look at the 2014 Grammy Awards. Everyone was there to celebrate music's biggest night. In fact, Emma Thompson wanted to be there, but she still can't find her shoes. And Hugh Hefner is not aging well. Katy Perry looked gorgeous in this music note dress. She looked so good that many of the stars nominated decided to actually learn to read music. Now let's see what Taylor Swift thinks of this dress. New Zealand newcomer Lord was a big winner tonight. She took home Grammys for Song of the Year and Pop Solo Performance. And she also won the award for Most in Need of Spanx. Singer Ashanti was there. Now, I've seen this pattern before, I just can't place where. Kathy Griffin wore this snake print dress because she identifies with any animal that sheds its skin as it ages. Jay-Z and Beyonce opened the show with a racy performance. Now, I understand that they want to be like normal parents and teach their daughter Blue Ivy about the birds and the bees in their own living room, but they don't have to do it in everyone else's living room. Their performance was controversial, but I will give it to Beyonce. If she's going to twerk on a man, at least she's doing it on her own husband. Speaking of that, Robin Thicke and Paula Patton were there. Patton held tight to her man at this award show in case Miley Cyrus showed up and wore this animal print in case there was a cat fight. I think it worked. Paula's look was so intimidating, Miley Cyrus didn't walk the red carpet. She snuck in under Pharrell's hat. Miley Cyrus walked the red carpet at the Clive Davis pre-Grammy party, and PETA is already protesting this look. I mean, she clearly shaved one of her teddy bears to make this coat. Now let's see what Taylor Swift thinks of this look. Next we have Madonna. Now, clearly Madonna needs to adjust her estrogen treatments. And I think someone should tell her that things didn't end well for the last pop star who wore one glove and hung around with little boys. I mean, seriously, if you need more proof that Madonna was channeling Michael Jackson, in the course of the evening, she went from black to white. The red carpet is always a place where we see new beauty trends. In fact, just last year, we saw aging celebrities like Madonna wearing gloves to cover up their aging hands. This year, we saw that taken to a whole new level. You laugh, but I guarantee you the women from The Real Housewives will be wearing this look next week. New young pop star Ariana Grande was there looking gorgeous in this pretty floral fit and flare. We actually have a time machine photo of what she'll look like next year when she wants everyone to know she's grown up. Now the theme of the night was obviously the support of gay marriage. And if you're like me and you've ever wondered what it would be like if Colonel Sanders and Captain Jack Sparrow had a love child, tonight we had our answer. And now we have our best dress of the evening. Our Blonde Moment Award goes to one of my favorite blondes, Taylor Swift. I mean, she was just gorgeous. And gay or straight, I think we all have the same love for this dress. Taylor, what did you think of this dress? And there you go. And that was the Carpet and the Drapes Grammys Fashion Recap. I've been your host, Sarah Blodgett. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you join us next time.